league long enough to know you got to forget your last game and focus on it now. And uh, you focus on it now. Were you even worried about Sunday when you're making those shots down the stretch? No, <laughs> I've made a ton of tough shots and a ton of big shots in my career. Though. And I've missed a ton, so it doesn't bother me, make or miss. Uh, I mean, it's a basketball game. You're going to make some shots, you're going to miss some shots. Uh, I understand it. The teams understand it. Uh, you know, we lost the game. I, mean, I didn't use the game for it. I didn't try to miss those shots. Uh, they tried to make a play. Though. Well, you made seven straight points. At what point do you say to yourself, I, listen, I'm going to shoot it. If I can't get anything else going here, I'm just going to take it. No, it's not bad. I just take what the defense gives me. I mean, I'm not a guy out there that's uh, I'm not a volume shooter. I mean, I, I, I try to make the offense work as much as I can. Uh, I try to, you know, preach to the guys as well as the coaches our philosophy. You know, Try to try to execute the game plan the best I can and, and help the team as well. You guys built a nice little cushion there in the third. Of course, they will whittle the way and got back into it. At, at some point, you guys going to get comfortable with holding the lead. Do you think this is going to benefit you down the end? Uh, like I said out there, uh, it's, it's a learning process for us. It's, every game is learning. Uh, play in different situations, different styles of play versus different teams. And, uh, it's going to be a different guy every night. I mean, we, we, you can see that some guys play more minutes in certain games and have more touches and you know, more presence on defensive end. It's just you know, how our team is. We, we're, we're a pretty deep team. And, uh, you know, we all just have to buy into just going out there trying to win. You have a long way to go, but the way you're playing, is this a playoff team? We all believe we're a playoff team. I mean, we're, we're a long ways from the playoffs and you know, we have a lot of games to go, but uh, one thing we all know is it's it's a grind. It's, you know, like I said, we have a lot of games. And it's one game at a time, and um, we can't look forward to April or anything like that. We have to finish out this month strong and just take game to game, month to month, and see where we're at. Yeah. What do you think about Jamal's switch from the right to the left layup? Jamal is a guy, you know, I, you know, I tell you guys, no matter what's going on, man, he's, he plays extremely hard. Um, so when he's out there, stuff happens for him. He, you know, he, he does a lot of things for us that. Uh, that doesn't show up on the stat sheet, tipping, tipping the ball, rebounds to other guys, and, um, you know, tipping the ball steals, and you know, making the right play as much as he can. He's, he's learning. He's learning, and uh, he's, a, he's a kid that's really, really receptive. And, and, uh, he, he's physically, and he's mentally tough. But he missed an opportunity if he stuck his tongue out. No. No? You know, it's, it's only a... Uh, the only one guy in the basketball <laughs> history that stick his tongue out doing that move. <laughs> But, you know, it was a great move. Thanks, Jimmy. Yeah. Appreciate it. What was better? Okay. This was